Guys, what up? Hope it's going well. So I wanted to just do a fun song. Um, it's by Music, Travel, Love. The old song, Lean On Me, by my main man, Bill Withers. So these guys did a cover. Um, a couple weeks ago. It's just kind of a fun one to, to learn, fun one to play. Um, it's only three chords, so we're, do, we're going... Uh, they do it capo four, playing in the G shapes. So uh, those really easy uh, shapes. And again, just three chords, the G, C, and the D. So it's just, uh, there's really no like strumming on this on their version. So if you wanted to strum, you definitely could. But I just want to teach you just that little like cool cool way that they that they play it and the and just the cool way that it sounds so there's really no um no strumming so i'm just going to show you the kind of the picking and the plucking um method i've been using so it's it starts with the g and then it goes to the c and then it goes to the g to the d to the g so what I'm doing is I get in my finger picking position here on the uh, on the right hand side. If you need help on on some of this finger picking, where my fingers are going, which strings they're going on, I'll, I'll link a I'll link a video up top and below uh, finger picking lesson because that's mainly what I'm going to be covering today in this lesson. So again, we start with our fingers, our uh, pointer finger, and uh, middle finger on the G and the B string. And what we're gonna be doing is plucking the bass note with the thumb. And then we're going, so bass note with the thumb. And then you're plucking both of these, your pointer and your middle finger at the same time. So first bass note, then you pluck both of those at the same time. So in full speed, it kind of sounds like this which really doesn't sound much faster probably. But, so that's the first part of the, of the plucking motion. The second part, so we got the individual thumb, bass note, plucking the pointer and the middle finger together. And then we slap. So we kind of do a little thumb slap on this um, low E string. You know, it's, you just kind of want to hear it slapping against the, the, uh, the fretboard here to make that sound. So if you don't, if you've never done that, you might just need to kind of like play around with it a little bit, see how it sounds, see where your, where your thumb goes. I'm usually just slapping it literally like right there. And I guess in the middle of this, the cutout here. And uh, what I explained in a couple other videos prior to this is when I'm doing this, when I slap, I'm trying to make sure that when I come down on my slap, that my these two fingers here are kind of more or less ending up in the same place on those same strings. That way, when you do the next part of this chord, you pluck them all at the same time. So the thumb, pointer, and middle, all at the same time. So that way, when you slap, your, your fingers are, are locked into where they need to be and you don't need to like figure out, okay, where did my, where did my pointer finger land? Where did my middle finger land? You, so you might have to just kind of practice that and, and just kind of work on that for a little bit to, um, to, to kind of get that feel. So that's the second part of it. It's thumb, Thumb, pointer, and middle, slap, all together. So I'm spending a little bit of time on this first one because this is going to be the same pattern you're going to use for the, for the other two chords. So again, thumb, these two at the same time. So that's how the first uh, the first chord is, and then you 
so we'll do maybe we'll save that additional thumb slap once we get these chords down so the next chord is going to be your c your c at nine and and you can do this regular c at nine or if, if sometimes i'll just kind of like do this one um because i'm not really using this high e string and i don't really need this that um d string at all but you can do whatever you want to do this one's going to be the same thumb bass note Same deal. So, thumb, bass note, second string from the top, that A string. So, same pattern, starting on the G now. So, you might want to just, just kind of vibe on that for a minute. Practice back and forth. Takes a little bit of coordination. We're adding that additional slap right before the next chord. So then the uh, we go G. C back to the G to the D the D same deal so your thumb is going to be on the bass note of the D chord which is the D string third one from the top so nothing is going to be on that string it's going to be open so you're just going to be doing same thing you were doing for the last two chords so and you can be you can be a little aggressive when you're plucking these strings you know you're not gonna break them these are some tough strings so the, the harder you pull the louder the sound so so that full progression now this is the progression for the entire song the verse or the intro, the verse, the chorus, verse two, and then the last chorus. So if you get this down, you've got the whole song down. So let's go from the beginning again. So it's going to be the G. So that'll I'll just kind of like hum along to the to the lyric so do 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 So the last time through on that D I think you only do it once instead of doing do it to the G. So the last time through, do 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 do. So then the chorus is like. the twice you'll stay on that D twice just kind of like our our normal um, pattern so So that last time, just similar to the verse, the last time on that D, on the chorus, you'll just do it one time to the G. So that is, I mean, that's literally 
the entire song. It's just that same chord progression over and over again, same picking pattern. So if you if you play along to it and if you listen to the recording or, or the, the, vid the video, you'll definitely kind of get the little, the vibe. And if you wanted to just throw in that little extra uh, pointer finger on the G string in between uh, chords, So that's a wrap guys. I hope that helps. It's going to be a fun one for you to play, fun one for you to learn. Just another, just, you know, showing you, you know, you got these fun, easy G chords. They're really easy, um, but you can do some really fun, good sounding things with them. Um, and even just with three chords. So as usual, if you have questions, please, please leave a comment. Uh, you know, I love chatting it up with you guys. Uh, and making those connections with you in the comments. So definitely do that. And um, yeah, hope this helps you guys. Have fun with it. Play along to the recording. And um, yeah, keep me posted on how it's going. So I'll catch you guys next time.